This call is now being recorded. All right, then. This is going to be the topic for today. It's about the the relative clauses. Can you help me to to read about the relative clauses? Come on. We use them to give extra information about the subject without starting with another sentence. Exactly. The idea of this is to to give all the possible information in the in the sentences that we do. So I am going to show you what are the different relative clauses that we are going to learn today. They are like uh, who, we're going to learn how to use who, where, when, and which and that. These are the, the relative clauses that we are going to learn today and whose, right? So let's go back to the beginning of the presentation and we're going to start with who. All right, pay attention. We are going to use who when we are talking about people, about a man, about a woman, about a girl, boy, baby, whatever, but anything about people. So look at the look at the example. Can you help me to read the example in the in the picture? Let's go. The woman. <laughs> The woman who bought the house was my friend. Exactly. I am saying information about a woman. So what happened with this woman that she bought the house that was for my friend? So let me give you some other examples so that you can have an idea. And let's go with an example about, okay, let me admit Grisel that she's here in the class. Okay. Hello, Grisel. Good afternoon. Are you there? Can you hear me? Hello. How are you today, Gris? I'm fine, thank you. Very fine, thank you so much. Okay, I was, I was explaining Gabby like two minutes before that for today we are going to learn about the relative clauses. And I was telling her that we are going to use the relative clauses for, for giving information about a subject. So there are different subjects that we are going to learn today. Like for example, we are going to learn how to use who, where, when, which and that, and whose. So, I was, she was telling me that we are going to use the relative clauses for giving extra information about someone or something. So we were checking first the, the relative clause who, that we use it for, for people. Here, do, do you have an idea, Grisel, who is the subject in the sentence? The woman. Exactly. And what did she, what did she do? She bought um, the house. Exactly. That's what she did. So we are giving more information about a subject. Let's go to the next one. This one, Gabby, it's going to be for, for places. We are going to use where to give more information about places. Do you want to help me with the sentence, Gabby? Let's go. The school where I used to study is in another city. Okay, before you close your microphone, what what is the subject in this sentence, Gabby? What could be the subject? In the other sentence, Gabby, the subject was the woman. But in this sentence, what could the subject be, Gabby? Do you know? No, you don't know? Me? Yes, you. What is the subject in this sentence? Because check, in the other, we are talking about a woman. That's why we are using who. But in this one, what are we talking about? What is the subject? Me? Um, no, 
in, in this sentence, check it here. I? Mm -mm. Okay, let me ask yourself. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Yes, because uh, we are talking here, about. I'm going for my charger. Yeah, perfect. I wait for you, no problem. When you go back, tell me, yes? Well, well, I was, we were talking about um, the relative clause where, so we are giving information about this. And, well, let's go to the next one. Now we're gonna practice a little bit with the other relative clause that is when. We use when when we are talking about time expressions. Do you want to help me with this sentence, Crystal? Come on. November 2nd is the day when we celebrate the day of the day. Exactly. I have a question for you so that we can practice a little bit with this, um, with this relative plus. Do you know when do American people celebrate Independence Day? Mm, first of July or is June? I don't remember. Closer. Add three days more. Come on. Three? Ready? Perfect. Yeah, three days more. One, two, three, four. <laughs> On July. <laughs> exactly. Yes, Gabby, before you arrived, I was I was telling Grisel that we are going to use when when we are talking about time expressions. For example, here here in the sentence, Grisel. What is the what is the time expression that we are talking about? November second. Exactly. So start checking this. How in every sentence we have a subject. For example, here we have the woman. That's why it's who because it's for people. Then where it's about a place. That's why we are talking about the school. And in this one we are talking about November the second, right? It's a time expression. So why don't we go to the next one about when? And we have another, yes? Which and that, it's gonna be used for animals or things, yeah? For an animal or for a thing, yeah? So do you want to help me to read this example, Gabby? Come on. Which Laura it is so friendly and beautiful. Exactly. In this sentence, Gabby, what is the what is the subject? What are we talking about? A dog. Exactly. So since we are talking about a dog, then we have to use which or that because it's the one that we use for an animal or for a thing. Well, let's take a look at the last one. Yes. Pay attention to this one. Here, we are going to use whose whenever we are talking about possessions, yeah? Possessions of people and animals or things, yeah? You can possess a, maybe an animal or a thing, but when we are talking about possessing a person, it's not about like being a possessive person, I mean, I'm talking about having some kind of relationship. For example, to be a friend, to be a, I don't know, someone's daughter, son, father, mother, co-worker, classmate, whatever. I'm talking about these kinds of relationships. So here we have the, the example, all right? Can you help me with the example, Risa? Mm, I have class with a teacher whose student is Armando. I have a question for you. In this sentence, what is like the, the relationship that we have? Can you tell us? Uh, the, the teacher is the teacher from Armando. Exactly, because Armando is That's his good. student. That's right? Yes. Perfect. Well, so I think this is, this is the moment to, to go to practice a little bit of this. I have an idea. First, we're gonna answer some exercises together. And later on, we're gonna go to practice 
yes, about, for example, the, the description of different places like the ones you are watching in this moment. Check them out. Yes, we are going to describe different places and later we are going to describe professions like the ones you are watching in this moment. And later on, we're gonna describe different um, different time expressions and different holidays that we have in the year in Mexico. So let me just take this away for a moment and we go to, to the exercise right now, right? The, the exercise that we're gonna answer, it's very easy because it's about, um, it has multiple options. So let's get this started. The first one is with who, where, and which. Let's go to this. Well, I have an idea. Let's do it one and one, right? Um, Grisel starts and then and then we go, okay, I have an idea to make it faster. Uh, to, the first two sentences will be for Grisel and then Gabby the other two and then Grisel two more and until we finish, all right? And I want you to read the, the sentences and tell me the possible answer. All right, Grisel, let's go. Please. Okay, the man who I meet yeah. and the books which I read. Okay, can I, can I like select another option for which? Uh, that. Exactly, I can either use which or that. Thank you. All right, Gabby, it's your turn. And the house where I live. Yeah, because it's a place, right? Uh, the book uh, which I broke. Okay. Well, Grisel, before you continue, let me say hello to Armando. Hello, Armando, are you there? Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you, and you? Very, 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 very good, very good. Okay, Armando, before, before we continue with this exercise, Grisel and Gabby, if you give me a chance, I was, let me just show you very quickly, Armando, what are we doing? Yes, we are learning about the relative clauses in the sentences. For example, Armando, we give extra information about the subject. So when we are talking about a subject, Armando, it's like to, to talk about maybe a person, a place, a time, etc. For example, when we are talking about a person, we are going to use who, yeah? When we are talking about a place, where? When we are talking about some time, it's when, and for objects or for animals is which, and for like relationships or possessions is whose, right? But I want you to check the exercise that we are answering this moment. So, okay, I think the next one, was it was you right Risa? Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on, the city go. was uh, the city where i was born yeah and the boys who i saw okay it's your turn gabby come on uh, the place where i play mm -hmm. the horse uh, which I wrote. Okay, let's see what happens. And the last two sentences are for you, Grisel. Come on. The sea where I swim. Mm -hmm. And the princess who I love. Okay, let's see. Let's check it out to see what was your percentage. Oh, very good. It was a perfect score with a hundred. Yes. Well, let's do another one, but in this one. We include Armando so that he can participate with us. All right, let me see where is the exercise. I'm going to close this one and we go to the second. Uh, in the second exercise, it is who, which, and where. All right, let me see. It's like a, like a quiz or something like that. Let me see. Okay, let's go to this. Okay, let's wait. It's loading. I don't know what this is. Give me a moment. Okay, ready. Okay. Do you want to start, Armando? Come on. Yes. 
There was a princess who lived in a castle. Exactly, because it's a because it's a person. Very good. Well, let's go to the next one, Armando. Let me move to the next, and we continue with you. Come on, Armando. Let's go. Uh, thanks for chocolates, uh, which you sent me. Let me see. It was correct. Okay, let's go for the next ones. Now it will be Gabby's turn. Come on, Gabby, let's go. Mm, that's the city where we meet. Is met or meet? Yes, it's met because it's in the past. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Don't close your microphone. And here we go. Come on, Gabby. It's you again. Ay, perdón, se me trajo. Luego es a Tun. Where is found? Famous for its Roman world. Okay, let me see. Uh, no, no, it's a person. No, it's a it's a place. But it's good that we have this sentence. Let me explain you the reason of why it is like uh, the answer is not where. Do you have an idea, Grisel, of the reason of why we don't say where? Yeah, because we are talking about a town, and a town exactly. is, I think. <laughs> exactly. Did, did you listen to the explanation, Gabby? It's, we are talking about the town, yeah? It's not like, for example, a house, or I don't know, the supermarket, the restaurant. It's which? Something like that. Do you know what I Exactly. It's which. Oh, okay. That's right. Okay. Why don't we do? Why don't you try with another? Okay. Let me change it to the next. And come on, come on, Gary. Let's go. Come on, Gary. Go on with this. Now we are talking about the river. Okay, why don't we choose another instead? Because maybe your computer got frozen. Do you want to say the next one, Armando? Ready? Uh, uh, the shield is a river uh, where, uh, where we fish. Perfect, very good. Very good, Armando. Let me change to the next one. I can see you are understanding this very quickly. Come on, Armando, let's go. Sorry, se me trabó. Don't worry, Gabby. Do you want to do this? Come on. Uh, who? Do I have you? a do daughter. Yes, it's correct. ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah, it ha I have a daughter. Do you want to repeat yeah. the problem? Daughter. 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 Exactly. That's right. Very good. All right, Amanda, we continue with you with another. So let's go. Okay, give me a moment. Yes, ready, Armando. That's the hen uh, which lays the best eggs. Exactly, because it's an animal. Very good, Armando. So, well, we still have some others. I'm going to give you four consecutive for you, Grisel. Are you ready? Can we go to the next one? Okay. Okay, let me move it. Ready. I know the man who did it. Nice. Let's go to the other one. Let's go. The villa uh, where I live is very quiet. Very good. It's so a village. Let's go to the next and okay, let's go. A mechanic is a person who fixes cars. Exactly. Pay attention to this, Armando and Gabby, because when we finish with this exercise, we are going to make a, a description like this. For example, we are going to describe some professions. We are going to describe places and different time expressions. 
All right, Grisel, let's go to the other one. One more, and then the other ones will be for, for Gabby and Armando. Come on, let's go. Is there a bench um, which oh, we can sit? OK, let's see. Which? Is there a bench? It's because I have a doubt. Bench is it's a, uh, it's bench is, is like a, like this chair. In okay. the so yeah. it's which? <laughs> no, let's see. Mm -mm. Uh, where? Yeah, because let me tell you the reason, right? Because you are doing something in that place, right? So that's why we call it a where. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's it's sometimes it's confusing with this which and where for certain places, but no problem. Let's go. Are you ready, Armando, for the next one? Come on. The house, the house, the house. Uh, oh, it's confusing. Eh? Come on. House, which is on the right is nice. Very nice, Armando, because they are describing characteristics of the of the house, right? Very good. Let's go to the next one, Armando. You go. You have another. Come on. Okay, give me a moment because I have to move it. Ready. Come on, Armando. Let's go. I'm looking for someone uh, where I speak Spanish. Okay. Pay attention, Armando. It's someone. Ah, what okay. is someone? Okay. okay. Uh, which? Let's go. No, no, no. Because it's, oh, yeah. okay. it's for a person. No, Armando? Yes. Let, me, let me tell you by the chat what it means. What does someone mean? Yeah, can you see the chat? Okay. It's a person, right? Okay, Armando, no problem. Let's go. Well, the next one is for you, Gabby. Are you ready for this? For the for the sentence? Meanwhile, I'm gonna tell you by the chat what a hive is. This is a hive where bees live. Are you ready, Gabby? Uh he hive. I have is uh, which bees live? Uh, the bees live in this place. This is the action they um, do. Where? Uh -huh, because whenever you are doing something in a place, it's where. All right, very good. Another, let's try with another one. After this, we go to the conversational exercise. Come on, come on, Gabby. He's wearing the tie. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the subject is the tie. Let me tell you in the chat what is the meaning of tie. Come on, check the chat and decide. Uh, which I give to him. It's very nice, good. Okay, I think we have another, no, it's over. Well, let's stop with this exercise because now it's time to go to the to the conversational exercise, everyone. Let me show you what are we gonna do, Teacher, right? Yeah, yeah, yes, Gabby, tell me. Could you explain me again uh, which? Yes, of course. Okay, let's go. And, okay, here we have it. We can use which or that when we are giving a description or more information about an animal or about a thing for example let me let me give you a case right for example here let's talk um i know i don't know let's talk about the table right the table which is big, right? I am saying some characteristics about, about a table, right? Or for example, why don't we make, why don't we do another one about another animal? 
for example, it comes to my mind to, to talk about a cat, right? For example, I have a cat which is very beautiful. Yes. I am giving more information about a cat, about a table, right? But don't get confused with where, with when, sorry, with where, because where it's to say, yeah, it's to talk about a place, yes, and what happens in this place. So, for example, here I am talking about the school. What is the thing that I am doing in the in this school, Armando? Hello, Armando, are you here? Well, I think he's not here, but okay. Well, I was telling you the the school where I used to study. So what is the thing that I do in this school? I study. So let me show you another example. Or I don't know, I can say, um, I don't know, the apartment, the apartment where I live is small, right? In this sentence, I'm talking about the apartment. Check it out, I'm talking about the apartment. And the action that I do in this apartment, it's to, to live. That's why I am using where. What do you think about this, Gabby? Is it, is it clear for you or, or not really? Be honest, come on. Meanwhile, I will prepare the exercise that we are gonna do. All right, look at this. Check it out. Now, in the picture, I am showing you different places. Yeah? Uh, are you there, Grisel? Could you help me with these first two places? Okay. All right, look at the name of this depot? Yeah, for example, imagine that I am a person from another country so mm -hmm. i don't know about these places right let okay. me ask you, then you answer to me right mm -hmm. uh, uh hello grisel uh what what is an office depot office depot is a place where you can buy uh, paper and um, colors uh -huh. uh, things that you use to to make I don't know how to say uh, for school yes for the school or for a, for the office ah okay um let me let me tell you a word stationary exactly yeah, okay. exactly let me type it by the chat yes stationary okay. look everyone by the chat stationary grisel are for example paper scissors colors pencil pen etc i can buy st stationary products in office depot yes you can buy ah okay and i have heard about another place that is called uh the home depot what what can i buy there uh, you can buy things that you use when you may uh, jobs that need uh, things for the hardware uh, things for my house uh -huh. for example uh can i buy tools in home depot yes uh, okay very good i think it's a clear explanation thanks uh, let me uh, ask you are. yeah how yeah. do you say ferretería uh, hardware. Let me, hardware. Let me tell you by the chat. Hardware. Okay. Yeah, you. I can buy hardware products, right? Hardware products. Okay. Yeah, like tools and you know uh, different pieces that I need for my house. Am I correct? Is, is correct to say hardware store? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. For example, we can say that Office Depot is a stationary store, a store? But, okay. but bigger but very big right okay 
Uh -huh. And Home Depot is a hardware store, but very big. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it was a good explanation. Thanks. Are you ready, Armando? Hello? Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm uh, back. Sorry, sorry Mr. Armando. Uh, can you give me an explanation? Okay, Armando, we are using we are using the um, how do you say we are using the um, the relative clause uh, where for places, yeah? And in the in the other one, Armando, Grisel explained me that Office Depot is a place where I can buy paper, colors, pencils, pen, and you know, computers, etc. And she explained me that Home Depot is a place where I can buy tools or material for my house. Yeah. Can you tell me uh, what what can I buy in, in Marti? Okay. Come on, Armando, tell me. What can I buy in Marti? Okay. Uh, in Marti is, is where I can buy sports clocks. Oh, nice. For example, can, can I buy a bicycle in Marti, Armando? Uh -huh. uh, 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 yes. Oh, and exercise oh. equipment. Oh, exercise equipment. Yes. Oh, nice, uh, Armando. If if I need some tennis shoes, can I buy them in Marti? Yes, I I buy shoes in the Marti. Ah, okay. What else, Armando? What else can I buy in Marti? Um, Adidas, Nike. Oh, we have a very big variety of things in Marti, right? Uh, no, uh, 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 speaking in English. In English, in English. Yeah. Okay, is there another thing I can buy in Marti, Armando? For example, I don't know, like, can I buy sweaters or something like that jackets i don't know uh, no um sweaters or um, jackets i i buy okay in another store or in marti or in another store in marti uh, usual usually mm -hmm. for sports i uh, guess Okay. There, uh, are cheap, there, there are cheap fairy uh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there are cheap stores. Mm -hmm. Ah okay. Marti. Ah okay, Marti is it's expensive. Yes. Ah okay. In in tox, what what is a tox? Can you explain to me? Yes, uh, uh, where where go to eat and order food ah okay i can go to eat and order some food can i can i have a coffee in tops yes yes okay. i like i like the coffee in the tops okay thank you very much Armando. okay the next one is for gabby gabby hello are you ready talk to me tell me if you're ready gabby come on Hello. Okay, Gabby. Uh, um, excuse me, Miss. Uh, what is a what is a little scissors? Can you explain me? Uh, little scissor is a place where you go to eat pizza. Ah, okay. And um, excuse me, Miss. Can you tell me what a chedrawi is? What is a chedrawi, Gabby? I never been in a Chedrawi. Can you explain me? Um, it's a place where you go shopping. Um, food and um, ah. Groceries? Ah, yeah. For example, I can I buy can I buy fruit in Sharawi? Yes. Chicken, meat, groceries. 
Yes. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, let's go to another. It's your turn, Grisel. In the first one, uh, sorry, Miss, uh, I have heard about a place called Liverpool. Can you explain me more about this place? I don't know what is it. Okay, Liverpool is a place okay. where, where you can buy clothes, uh, toys, uh, perfumes. Uh, ah, it's it's a department store. Yes. Ah, okay. Um, if you want for for the next time, you can say it's a it's a department store where you can, if you want to be more specific. Okay. For example, you can say Chedrawi is a supermarket where you can buy groceries. Little Caesars is a restaurant where you can have some pizza. No, or Martin is a store where you can buy sports outfit and blah blah. blah. You know, you know what I mean. Okay. Um, Excuse me, Miss. Uh, I have heard about a place called uh, Chapultepec Forest or something like that. Can can you tell me more information about this place? Okay, Chapultepec is a park uh, where you can uh, uh, eat. You can visit a museum that's called uh, the Chapultepec Castle. Oh, and also you can. Uh, Riding the bicycle or make some no maybe not more do some exercise. Yeah. I have uh, a question about this. You said that there was a museum there in Chapultepec, right? Uh, yes. what what kind of museum is that the one that you say in the castle? Uh, well the castle is a museum. <laughs> really? What can I see over there? It's for uh, paintings or what can uh, I see there? Paintings and also I, I don't know how to say in English, but Come on, try, try, try no Spanish. Come on. Uh, like picture that is are painted in the in a glass. Uh huh. But they have uh -huh. a name that, that like I don't a, know. Like a vitral. Uh huh. Ah, okay. It's vital yeah. to say vital. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a oh, glass sure. you, that you paint with, with um, I don't know, shapes or people or stuff like that. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Oh, it sounds interesting. Okay, what else can I? They they told me that there are some animals over there. Do you know something about this? Uh, yes, you can find a little um, zoo. Oh, like, like a soup. Uh, because I think that this is small, but you can see some uh, animals and also a place where you can watch different kind of birds that I, I don't know how to say that in English. Oh, different kinds of birds? Uh huh. Oh, my God. Do you God. know how okay. to say that in English? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's like a like a zoo, right? It's a yes. a bird zoo. Ah, it's bird zoo, really? Yeah, because it's, <laughs> okay. I can see parrots, toucans, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice, interesting. And I, and I have heard that there's also a reptile zoo inside the zoo, right? Mm, I don't know exactly. I have never visited that place but maybe it's possible that you can find something like that okay great great thank you very much well let's talk to mr armando ah okay armando uh, mr armando they have told me about a place called sport city w what is a sport city is like a like a marty like the one you explained me or what is it armando uh, no sport city is a gym Ah, uh huh. Where? Come on, come on. Where you? Is yeah, yeah. It's correct, Armando. It's a gym where you come on. Is where is on the is done exercise. Ah, okay. It's it's a gym where you can do exercise, right? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. It's not like a Marty, okay. I understand. And they told me about another place, Mister, that is called Cinepolis or something like that. What What is a Cinepolis? Can you explain me? Yes, it's where I have from watching movies. 
Ah, ok. It's like a cinema. Yes. Ah, ok, ok, ok. I have heard, Mr. about about another company for um, cinemas. Do you know what is the, the other company that where I can watch movies? Uh, the, the other movies is the company is Cinemets, no? Ah, ok. And which one is better? Cinepolis or Cinemex? What do you recommend me more? Uh, Cinepolis. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, Gabby. Hello, Gabby. Are you ready? Okay, give me a moment, people. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, Miss Gabby. Um, there is a there is a place in Mexico City that is called Palacio de los Deportes. Do you know more about this place? What, what can I do in this place, Miss Gaby, in Palacio de los Deportes? Uh, it's uh, um, a uh, stadium where you... Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, where you can do concerts or watch a plays. Uh, games. Yes. Ah, uh, for, for example, can can I watch basketball there in the? Um, uh, Palacio de los Deportes. Can I watch a basketball game? Or you don't know very well? I, I don't know, but uh, I'm sure. About concerts? Uh, I'm sure not, but concerts, I think. But not in this moment for the pandemic, correct? Ah, okay, no. Ah, okay. Well, I have heard about uh, about another place that is called uh, BP or something like that. Do you know more about this place, BP? It's a full station where is gas yeah it's a gas station yes ah okay so i can go with my car and fill fill the tank yes where you can you no can you fill gasoline Ah, okay, okay. I have a, I have a question. Okay, uh, BP is the is the only gas station I can find in Mexico, or there are some others? Um, there are some others. Yes, like for example. Uh, Pemex. Um. Can, can you see that? Um, um, yes, there are that makes small wheel. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. G. Um, G five hundred. Yes, G. Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was very useful. Well, I think Grisel disconnected. Let me let me talk to her very quickly and to Laura because I think she got some problems or something. Give me just a minute, students, and we continue in a moment. Moment.